Currently, 537 million people are living with it or suffering from it, and this number will increase by 643 million by 2030 and 783 million by 2045, or in next 25 years. And that is from diabetes. And most importantly, Gen Z is the generation in which two out of three people will have diabetes mellitus in their 30s or in their 40s, according to WHO or IDF, which stands for International Diabetes Federation. If you are a Gen Z watching this right now, then there is a 70 to 80 percent chance that you will have it. This is how you will get it. What is the cost of having this disease physically and economically? These are some simple steps to prevent this disaster from never happening. But before that, what is diabetes? In simple terms, it is a long-lasting disease which occurs when the pancreas is no longer able to produce insulin or the body is producing it but cannot use it properly. And I'd like to put a little bit of science here. For example, you eat food, it is it goes in your stomach, it digested and absorbed into the bloodstream in form of glucose. Carbohydrate is absorbed in form of glucose and in us or the normal people the glucose will have to use insulin in order to get into the every cells of the body but in diabetic patient there is no insulin or not proper use of insulin so that the glucose cannot enter in the cell and hence the cell is now without this power source which is glucose and now you will start to feel fatigue the other symptoms are frequent urination because of the high glucose level in the blood excessive thirst or dry mouth because of too much peeing blurred vision or blurring of vision because the higher or the excess level of the glucose in the bloodstream tingling and numbing of hands and also sometimes loss of sensation so these are the reasons that you will not enjoy this disease look it can cause retinopathy which means you will be permanently blind or diabetic foot which means without early treatment you will lose that foot kidney failure cardiac arrest and many more and if you don't want to end up in the icu bed blind with the lost leg half paralyzed without both kidneys regarding all the life choices then these are the life choices that you can implement right now to never ever end up in such situation. And for a quick note, all the facts are based upon WHO or World Health Organization. Number one, achieve and maintain a healthy body weight by moderately intense physical activity for at least 30 minutes a day and for at least three times a week. Number two, a healthy home cooked food. And no, that ramen or noodle that you cooked at home doesn't make it healthy because it was cooked at home, okay? Okay? Just eat the good old green leafy veggies, fruits polysaccharides a good amount of protein and as per we were taught in the medical school the golden rule is 50 30 and 20 50 percent carbohydrates 30 percent protein and 20 percent fat and you are good and also most importantly avoid refined sugars saturated fats and sugary drinks or beverages or any carbonated drinks and if you are enjoying this the sub to the channel will be sweet last but not the least Avoid any tobacco usage or smoking or also that vaping shit, okay? Look guys, smoking kills more than 400,000 people annually, which means per year, and in which 45% are women. What the hell, girls? And guys, smoking or vaping doesn't make you cool, but you know what makes you cool? Subscribing to Mediconista, so please subscribe. And by the way, guys, do you know how smoking will affect your skin? And how will it manage to affect your future children if you manage to have?